So the last released episode of this world is the 9 or 10th one, because I'm not sure if I am going to do the 10th one, probably, but I just couldn't be sure. But anyways, I'm going to give you a tour of my world, because it's the 10th episode, or around the 10th episode, and um, yeah, I just wanted to do that. Um, if the 10th episode doesn't, um, you know, uh, get uploaded, I am sorry, it's just because my microphone was working, uh, acting up, and just the... Like, it, it, the file was, like, kind of big and stuff, so I think I got all those problems sorted out on my recorder. I mean, my computer does not seem to be as loud, which is legendarily nice, <laughs> if that's even a word, legendarily. Le legendarily? I don't know. It's probably not a word, to be honest, but anyway, so I'm just going to give you a tour around my house, uh, around my property. So this is the land that I first touched base on. When we started the world, we st I touched base on this land specifically right on the first episode. And yeah, I mean, the vi the pillager outpost is this way. In fact, I'm just going to have to do some things. First, um, yeah, this dog has been here for a long time. <laughs> first thing I say is the dog. But anyway, my house, yeah, I love my house. It's awesome. I added windows. You probably wouldn't have seen this. This is uploaded after the 10th episode is potentially uh, uploaded, so I'm just going to say that in the sun's setting. But anyways, it doesn't matter. In the last episode, if it gets submitted, uh, uh, submitted, uploaded, I'm too used to my online school. Um, that is what we did. We finished my house. I'm going to have to like put dark oak slabs there, but I'll just tour you, make you tour my house little by little, basically. So this is the main room. It's been here the longest out of the house. That would make sense because it's the base of the tree. It's Kind of, ob kind of obvious. Um, so yeah, these furnaces, everything here, everything looks quite nice. And go. And this is a, used to be the storage room, but the storage room is now downstairs. But now this is just the pet room for all my pets. That would kind of make sense. This is Buster. That's Colette. Kind of. Yeah, that's Colette. I think that's how you spell it. That is Abby. That is Max. I moved him from downstairs back up to here. And here's Robbie. He's he was in the brewing room last episode, I think. So yeah. And then. Up here, we if we go up here, we get to the kitchen and the little unidentified room that I have no idea what to do with. But anyway, here's the kitchen, the f smokers, the furnaces, and the newly uploaded pantry because the pantry's not always been like this. Because well, first of all, a creeper blew it up. I just realized there was a. I just opened the creeper. Uh, I just opened the pantry doors and I realized there's a creeper in there and I'm like no, and then it blows up. It just. It was horrible. It was really annoying. I had to fix it and everything, but ultimately, I think it looks better. This ice block kind of makes it, I suppose. So yeah, there's the pantry. It's been there for a while as well. I mean, and then here's the balcony overlooking it. This has been here since episode two, I think, even. Yeah, episode two. That's pretty cool. Um, The um enchanting room is not here at the moment because I've relocated it somewhere else. Find out. I mean, Stay tuned to find out. Okay, so, yeah, this used to be the enchanting room. It probably still will be. It's just I need to uh, fix it, kind of, because there's no, there's nothing in it at all. So, this is, these are just where I keep all my books, sorted out, armor, random, so mending books, I'm breaking and everything. Look at all these mending books, awesome. And just random things like these two at once there, like, and stuff like that. Tools, so efficiency. Long range weapons, so that'd be bows and crossbows, melee weapons, so that'd be swords and axes, random armor and tools. It's not the enchantment. I don't know why there's like wool and stuff in there. Here's my brewing room. It's a pretty recent addition. Uh, I got some slow falling potions there because I was building something and I didn't want to fall. And yeah, just my ingredients, my actual potions, the brew, the actual nether wart farm, which seems like it can be, it can be, um, harvested. Then I got the automatic brewing thing set up. The bot water bottles are all in here, so they instantly go into this part of it. I need to start getting like an actual automatic thing part of it. But this used to be now. This used to be my bedroom. It's not anymore. This is here because another creeper blew it up. I really need to make sure I'm lighting up my house properly and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, that is used to be my room. I have no idea what it's gonna be now because it's just it's such a small room. I can't do anything with it. So. You might not have seen these parts if the video doesn't get uploaded, but it, it it should. I will do everything in my power to upload that video. But this is the bel this is like a balcony. Several <laughs> mobs have spawned on it. I actually triggered a raid as my eleventh episode, but that 
the file got corrupted and stuff, so it's not going to make it. But don't worry, I will do a replacement episode 11 where I trigger another raid. So, I mean, I won't get all the new achievements for it, but... Oh well, you gotta live with this. And then this is the inside of like the leafy part of my tree. And yeah, it just looks pretty cool. I, In my opinion, I mean, I've got lots of complaints from my uh, real life siblings that it looks horrible. But I think it looks good. And if you guys don't like it either, well, suck it up. Because I like it and it's a. So, and then this is my bedroom. I'm going to sleep in it really quick. This is some paintings. I got a totem of undying from that last one. Only one though. That's why I need to trigger another one and get well get another one basically so and then yeah that's pretty cool and then i'm just gonna i've been exploring around in the end and i finally found one of these an elytra look at that i finally found an elytra it's almost broken but nobody cares <laughs> unless if it like blows up it i mean breaks in mid-flight so and then yeah we just got some random stuff here i don't know, exactly know what this room is going to be uh, also let me know in the comments if these should be two separate paintings i don't know why i put them as one at both one but anyway i got a little landing pad at the top here for my elytra and i think it looks pretty cool personally i mean you guys might disagree we got i'm just gonna fly around to my mob farm this has been in my world for a little while now a little wild now so i mean it looks pretty cool it it, it works insanely well well, what happens is that there's a minecart with a hopper going around because minecarts with hoppers can go through solid blocks. So that's why it's that's spinning around. And then as it loops around, it empties the stuff into these hoppers, which will transfer into the chest. You see, you, you can hear it working if you can. Um, you can hear it working and then it empties it into all this stuff. It's a really good source of gunpowder because I need like rockets and stuff. I don't know why I have all these cobblestone walls on me. That's a good question. I'm just going to empty them in here because it's just the random chest. Um, yeah, but that's pretty cool. There's a little AFK platform up there I will show you because I because it doesn't take forever to get up very high now. Yeah, this is my little AFK platform. Um, it's there because if you um, if you go 100 blocks into the air and then like go here afk there will be so many more spawns in your mob farms i mean i mean i found this like i didn't this isn't my design of a mob farm this i just found this on youtube and i just copied it much like some of the other mob uh the other farms here so and when if we fly down there's my this is a overhead shot of my village and my villagers this is my super way it doesn't go quite as fast as my elytra well I mean, it might go faster. It could very well go faster if you know how to drive it properly. So, but anyway, there's my little skyscra uh, little skyscraper of mob uh, of mob farms just for like just for my um. Well, those aren't meant for meat. Those are meant uh, the sheep here are meant for wool. These chickens are meant for meat here. There's a random zombies that that's been in there for days. He seems to like the chickens, and these and these all, all these sheep they're how I get my wool that would be obvious and then here are my cows I don't eat cows that much I mean I mean eat beef that much I mostly just use it for the leather so I can make more books because I'm going through a lot of books and here are my recent edition pigs I don't think you've ever seen that before so yeah and then here is my village I'm gonna fly down quick I have quite a few villagers here I'm quite pleased with the amount of villagers that I have you you, you two need jobs I'm just going to put it out there. You guys do something with your life. And I got my Fletcher here. That's what, how he gets me all of my emeralds. I think I named him. His name is Finnick, if that's a real name. I think that's a real name. I mean, yeah, I think that's a real name. That's a real name, right, Finnick? Well, it is anyways. Uh, that's your name anyway. So, and then this is uh, Shelby or something, the shepherd. And then cartographer, Car no, Carson, the cartographer. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> And then this is Larry the Librarian? I don't know. Um, and then... Um, okay, what girl names um, have, like, an F? I can't remember, but... But yeah, these are all my villagers. There's quite a few youth in this village as well. And the game seemed to have recognized this as a real village because that guy spawned all by himself. So if I were to punch him, he would be mad at me. But I'm not going to punch him because I'm not sure if we'll ever... Wait, there's two! Well, that was new. I never knew there was two. 
Oh my goodness. Well, what do you know? Anyway, um, can you breed iron golems? That should be a thing. I, if it's not, like, breeding iron, iron golems, that would be so funny. But he, I had no idea there were two iron golems. That is so new. I did not spawn either of them here. I mean, I thought it was the amount of doors that you needed in a village that spawns iron golems. Um, I couldn't say, to be honest. Um, or maybe it's just the sheer amount of villagers. I don't know. Interesting. But apparently I have two iron golems now. I was planning on spawning an extra iron golem in there to keep all the mobs out. Just make sure none of them die. There's a wandering villager over there. I'm going to go check him out. He's pretty new here. I'm... Oh, <laughs> I got to take this off if I'm not actually flying. Hello. So what kind of... What, what are you offering me? Bucket of tropical... Are, are, are you kidding me? Five, five emeralds for a dark oak sapling. You need... You literally need four to sp to make a tree Any? Oh, my goodness. You know what? Get a life, you idiot. Oh, my goodness. And I found some bamboo in a shipwreck. That's all so good. These are all my farms. They've been here since episode four, I believe. I've been going through a couple of my videos videos today, and I just found... Yeah, I think it was episode four. Very few of these farms were actually here on episode farm, like these potatoes weren't. These pumpkins? I think the pumpkins were, to be honest. And then the beetroot wasn't. The carrots weren't. The bamboo definitely wasn't. Those are, like, extremely recent, and then neither were the melons. I think I think it was just the wheat. This was more wheat, but now it's cactus. And then sugarcane and pumpkins, I think. And then look at my bees. My bees are here. I needed bees because I thought I could do that um, ancient debris glitch where uh, you could get infinite amounts of ancient debris, but it didn't work, sadly. So I just wasted a ton of time and resources. This is my lodestone. It's used for... My compass. <laughs> but anyways, now I'm going to show you on the bottom of here. This is my portal. I'll show you around in the nether in a tiny bit. This is my this is my chest room. It's quite full. This is my AFK fish farm. And my really unnecessarily powerful <laughs> fishing rod. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just got a little bit of stuff in there. I can't really be bothered to AFK for that long in a world. Um, so yeah, and then we got my treasure room here. It's a working process. I'm planning to get a full wall of, of like, silk touch, like, actual, like, whatchamacallum, ores. I hope to get a full wall of ores and then the wall of blocks as well. This is actually a lot of diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times nine equals 63. That is 63 diamonds right there. That's almost a stack of diamonds. Not to mention I still have, like, a couple, <laughs> almost a stack in there as well. My goodness. Um, yeah, I'll show you around in the nether now, I think. In fact, I'm just going to grab a fire resistant, uh, fire resistance really quick. Oh, they're, they're, they're both three minutes now. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you around in the nether. Hopefully, I don't die. <laughs> I'm actually going to put my armor on. That's probably ideal. Um, in fact, put the elytra in there. Would not want to lose an elytra without another one to replace it. Because then you just have to look around a ton. Excuse me a minute. Yeah, you just have to look around for a ton more, and it just, it's a headache. Nobody likes looking for elytras before they have one. Oh my goodness, it's horrible. But anyway, that is a bridge. You can kind of see to the left, that's a bridge leading to the nether fortress. I will show you that. I mean, yeah, I, I'll show you that. I don't think I, actually, I don't think I need to. It's just another fortress. But the funny thing is, if I haven't bridged over to there, I would have never actually seen the nether fortress. I mean, I might if I, like, look this way, because in the left, you'll see like the pillar things of the nether fortress my condolences for those pigmen you look a little stuck up there <laughs> so and then this is just the ways to my netherite mines my main netherite mines anyways and it also leads to the way to the bastion that i uh invaded should have done that in an episode that would have been ideal but yeah you know what? the nether is not the most exciting place to look around in it's not like i have anything built in the nether or anything too important built in the nether i'm just gonna go back right away <laughs> Um, then next on the agenda is that we go to, I think we go to my zombie farm because that's how I got most of my XP before I built something else. So I'm going to show you that. I mean, it's more of a trident farm now. I hope to get a few more tridents. I hope to get a few tridents. That's, that's my main thing I want right now. A trident. Like, I already have an elytra. They are extremely handy, but I, just, I want a trident too, basically, so... Yeah, I'm trying to get tridents. It's extremely hard to get them. 
like when you like m make drowned in a way it's 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 extremely hard i don't know why okay i'm gonna flip the <laughs> what am i doing uh that flip that there we go so and then we um apply that my fireworks are in an ender chest that's not good <laughs> or yeah try flying it's pretty hard to fly with an elytra without fireworks I didn't say make a comment like that being a sarcastic for once. Interesting. And hey, look, you've seen it once. Bald eagles can now fly in Minecraft. I mean, anybody can. But anyway, that pillar right there, it leads to my my drowned farm. It's more of a drowned farm now because, um, well, I have no use for the XP part of it because I have another XP farm that is much more efficient, and I will show you very quickly. So just down here. You'll see the killing chambers, and since drowned like to swim up, I I just created these slabs so I can kill them. This is the part where I go AFK. I just close it, and then I just completely go AFK. So, and I got quite a bit of raw flesh, more than I have no I I even know what to do with. I got an enchanting setup in here. I'll probably move this enchanting setup actually, but yeah, that's basically my drone farm. Now I will show you. I guess I'm going to have to go back to the nether anyways. Um, now I'm going to show you. I Off camera, I built an enderman farm. It is extremely, extremely... What's the word? <laughs> I just lost my train of thought there. Effective. Effective? Um, ow! <laughs> I just crashed into the pillar. Um, it is extremely effective. You get a huge amount of XP. I can't even say, like... I maxed out, like, all my tools in, like, 30 minutes. It's, like, in insanely good. See, like, I got all this good stuff on my swords, my pickaxe, my sh um, my netherite axe. And, well, most of the stuff was on my shovel already, but except for the mending, because I found it, originally found a diamond, a diamond, uh, whatchamacallum, shovel. They're not, it's not that hard. In a, um, I found one in a... Uh, Man, I'm just losing my train of thought here. I just found one in in an end city. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Finally got that correct. Um, I just empty all my ch stuff into there, just because I just want to be safe. I don't want to like, I don't want to like die in the end by accident. Anyway, I'm gonna just quickly replace, you know, replace the boots. I'm gonna take a sword, curse of vanishing. That's not that bad. And then yeah, in fact, all I need is a sword. I don't need a pickaxe. Nobody needs pickaxes. And I'm just going to move back to the nether. Hopefully I don't die from, like, magma cubes. Uh, magma... Yeah, magma cubes. I should be fine, though. I'm just going to apply my shield maybe quickly. There we go. Uh, we're through, and... There seem to be no magma cubes bothering me. All right. So if we just go up here... So, basically, I link... Oh, there's the... There's the, um, fortress. You can kind of see it to the right. Um, so, I basically... I found the stronghold in episode 9. 9, I believe it was. Yes, nine. Uh, and I just made a port. I went back there. I made a portal in it. And so if I when I go through this portal, it should take me directly to the stronghold. So, no, not the str Yeah, the stronghold. Sure, it takes me directly to the stronghold. It's extremely handy. I don't have to walk, like, <laughs> up to, like, 500 blocks. It's insane. But anyway, this is the end. And this way, I made myself <laughs> an Enderman farm. And it is extremely effective. I don't know what life was like before this Enderman farm. It's it's even hard to explain. Like, <laughs> I, I can't believe I held out this long to make it. If I knew how extremely effective it was, I would have made it a lot sooner. I mean, well, obviously I couldn't have made it until, like, episode 9 when I actually found the stronghold and went to the end. So, anyway, so, for now, yeah, as you... All right, so I can give you a quick tour of the place. So... I just took out all my enchanting books and stuff from uh, my house and just put it here quick because I couldn't really be bothered to make more, more bookshelves because I need to spare books. But anyway, so basically, there's a giant platform above. There's a giant platform above where Endermen spawn, and then there's an Ender Endermite with a name tag that, like, Endermen hate, hate um, Endermites, so they want to rush over and attack it but then they fall down a chute oh my goodness that is quite the sound but anyways they fall down a chute they take a lot of fall damage 43 blocks worth of fall damage so that means they're down on like one heart see i could like literally i can literally kill them with my fist so 
and like the XP just rains. Like this is a s super small amount. Like, man, I've never actually been here with the sound on, and you get an insane amount of Ender Pearls. It's absolutely legendary this farm. But in fact, in fact, I might want to do a little bit of enchanting. Actually, I don't think those boots are going anywhere else anymore. But uh, let's see, protection for choo choo choo. -choo. <laughs> That's a little bit annoying. <laughs> um, unbreaking. Do, 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 do. I don't need a higher unbreaking on my um, my main armor because it's got mending and usually, well, it, it's it's just good anyways. Oh my goodness! You can, can you shut up? That is so loud. Like honestly, like if you spend like five minutes, like just doing stuff, it's like so loud but look i'm already up to like 30 levels and look it's still raining inside of my body okay but this farm is extremely extremely effective but so if this in fact if this video reaches let's say if this re video reaches 50 likes i will uh, maybe not 50 likes if this video receives 15 likes i will do a tutorial explaining how to make one of these i will first do a complete i will first do a complete oh my goodness you guys shut up that is so loud first of all i'll do a complete tour of the one that i currently have and then i will do a tutorial how to make for you guys to make one yourself this and uh just a disclaimer this only works in java edition because it ha you have the sweeping edge um uh enchantment i mean this this sword doesn't have it but like it kind of comes with it itself if that makes any sense like it'll only work in java or else you're like hitting them like a lot because like you're just like hitting only one at a time but with the sweeping edge then it's with the sweeping edge then then it just kills all of them in one go and that's how the xp really that's how the xp really adds up basically so anyway do i have a sharp sharpness four do i have like a protection three book in here now nah, well i don't so I guess that's gonna be for a different time. But yeah, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Like this chest these chests are absolutely filled to the brim. It's not hard to take out these Endermen. It's so loud. Like, it's insane how loud that is. And look, you just get infinite Ender Pearls. Like if you want Ender Pearls and you make this then you make this farm, believe me, you're 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 never gonna run out of Ender Pearls again. Like I swear, until I even want to play Minecraft, until I don't even want to play Minecraft anymore, which is gonna be a long time. Don't worry, do not worry. I don't even need any more Ender Pearls than this. Like this is absolutely insane the amount of Ender Pearls that you get from this. I'm not even using looting sword, a looting sword. Like it is so insane. All my chests are filled up. <laughs> but anyways, that's pretty much the farm. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go back. I don't like. Uh, walking across this with all my good stuff on me because just in case should the worst happen I fall that would just be very disastrous I don't even want to go into third person right now that would just be bad and uh, through that end gateway I think that one spawned when I killed the, an ender dragon the second time the ender dragon a second time because I rebirthed the ender dragon I think that one spawned there after I killed the ender dragon for a second time and that's more or less where I found my elytra so I'm really glad I took the time to invest in killing the second ender dragon, basically. I'm not going to hit those endermen because I have no armor, and they're not one-taps. It's hard to get used to the fact that endermen, not all endermen, are one-taps. <laughs> so, and, yeah. And also, the end is actually a really good um, obsidian farm, basically, because with an efficiency 5 netherite pickaxe, it is absolutely f so quick. Like, I swear, you can mine obsidian with a efficiency 5 netherite pickaxe faster than you can mine stone with a wooden pickaxe. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. But anyways, that wraps it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and then that will... That will... Um, lost my train of thought again. That's not surprising. That will inspire me to do more Minecraft videos like this. If you enjoyed my Let's Play, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Also, say in the comments it, how much you've liked this on a scale of 1 to 10, my Let's Play. And yeah, I mean, your support means a lot to me. I don't think I've actually had anyone that actually, like, I didn't, I don't think anybody ever criticized my channel before, but that's because it's so small. But yeah, hopefully you guys have a good day, and I will see you next time.